If you want to be a capable and responsible hunter, you need to have a rifle that is accurate and that you are confident and comfortable shooting. To achieve this, you need to spend some time at a shooting range. Many times, initial sight adjustments on a rifle scope will be made by bore sighting, either with a device or using the naked eye. But this isn't enough. Just because your rifle has been bore sighted, you cannot depend on that alone for accuracy. It is still your responsibility to take your firearm to the shooting range to sight it in, so you know exactly how your firearm is shooting. Basic equipment that you'll need to bring with you to the shooting range are sandbags or rifle rests to help you shoot, and also a spotting scope. A good staple gun will help with putting up targets. And you always want to wear eye and ear protection. It is also very important to bring a particular type of ammunition. You always want to use the ammunition that you will be hunting with when you're sighting in your rifle. This is because different cartridges vary in the way they perform. If a rifle is sighted in with one type of ammunition and then a different brand of ammunition or a different bullet weight is used when hunting, the shot will not impact where you expect it. You risk missing the animal you're hunting or worse, wounding it. You also want to pay attention to what kind of target you use. The best type of target when sighting in a rifle is a target with a one inch grid. This helps you determine how to set your scope adjustments. Start with a short range, such as a 25 yard range, to begin sighting in your rifle. If your scope has variable powers, dial it up to the highest magnification. It is best to shoot three rounds of ammunition through your firearm. One round needs to be loaded at a time. Take your time. You want to concentrate on good firing techniques. Make sure you take a deep breath, exhale halfway, squeeze the trigger, follow through, squeezing all the way through after the shot has been fired, and then proceed two more times. For each shot, be certain to aim with the crosshairs of the scope on the exact center of the target. This three-shot group will reveal how far off-center your scope is set. You will take the average of those three shots to make your adjustment. The average location of these three shots is about here. To bring the group to center, the scope needs to be adjusted two and a half inches to the left and up three and three quarter inches. On many scopes, the adjustment dials are covered by caps. There are two dials, one for elevation and one for windage. Once you've made your adjustments, you need to put another three rounds through your firearm, one at a time, making sure you follow good shooting techniques. At the 25 yard range, you are focusing on your windage or side to side adjustment. The average of these three shots is here. With regard to windage, it is centered. To adjust the elevation, it's time to move to a shooting line with targets at a greater distance. When you're on the 100 yard line, you're gonna follow the same procedure you did at the 25 yard line. You're gonna shoot three rounds of ammunition through your firearm, making sure you follow good shooting techniques At 100 yards, after you shoot your three rounds of ammunition, you're looking at elevation or how high up or down your ammunition hits your target. If most of the shots you take when hunting are at 100 yards, then your work is done. Your rifle is now zeroed at 100 yards. Hunters that take longer shots will adjust their scope a few inches higher, so it will be zeroed at 200 yards. If adjustments need to be made in elevation on your scope, you need to fire three more rounds through your firearm. Be sure to check your barrel between shots. If it gets too hot, let it cool down. A hot barrel can deliver inconsistent results. 
Once you've sighted in your rifle and you are satisfied with the groupings, you're still not ready to go hunting. Once you arrive at your hunting camp, it's a good idea to check your rifle and make sure it's still zeroed in. So to review, start at short range to check the windage. Use targets with a one inch grid. Use exactly the same ammunition you will use when hunting. Carefully fire three shot groups. Take the average of the three shots to determine what adjustment to make. If your barrel gets hot, stop and wait for it to cool. Move to the 100 yard firing line to adjust the elevation. And remember to check the accuracy of your rifle at the hunting camp before you go hunt. Being an accurate shooter will make you a more successful hunter and it can also make you a more ethical hunter. Not only do you owe it to yourself to be a good shooter, you also owe it to the animal for a quick, clean, and accurate shot.